And, uh, yeah, so we got some promotions. We got some promotions, chat. Starting to chug again. God damn it, Twitch. Oh, yeah, the bitrate's going to shit. Unfortunately, once again, not a whole lot that I can do about that. The aliens didn't have but yeah, the, the Twitch bitrate is kind of dropping we again. These chosen running around, so let's see, we got crew card night. with a promotion. Let's go ahead and do the promotion here. What do we got? We could do fire and steel, attacks with the gauntlet, and fire sent by gauntlet weapons do extra damage. Okay, that's not terrible. We got Interference. We're not really using the Gremlin right now, but that doesn't mean we won't later. Gremlin cancels Overwatch on a targeted unit. Can use that three times in a battle. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. And then, of course, we got Sprinter. Just flat additional two mobility. I'm not gonna lie. Sprinter just being flat additional mobility is really really good but these other abilities are great too like the ability to cancel overwatch and the ability to do more damage with the gauntlet but like two mobility for a guy with a shotgun i think that's hard to argue with Tell you what, Chad. Hold on a second. Let me let me check something here real quick. Let me make sure my router's not like crashing and burning or something. No. Like my send and receive are fine. It's gotta be Twitch. I again I apologize, chat. Like I said, it's it's prime time on a Saturday. There's there's not a whole lot to be done, unfortunately. It's you'll you'll just have to bear with it. I do apologize. Uh but I think we go with mobility. I think we go with mobility. An additional two squares of mobility for crew card uh is definitely gonna help, because if you recall in the previous mission, that was exactly what I was complaining about, was the crew card didn't have enough mobility. So, with that, that will help improve that. I can offer tech support via 12 gauge. I mean, if that would fix it, I'd be all for it. Alright, let's see, who's up next? We got Vio with a promotion as well. Uh, let's see. We could go grants one free smoke grenade. We could do uh, the flush. Flush is actually pretty good. It's a special shot with a bonus to hit that does little to no damage but confers, confers defense and dodge penalties and forces the target to change position. So basically, if we take this shot and we hit the target, the target not only gets debuffs, they also have to move out of cover. And that can be super useful. Um, let's see, we've also got locked on, plus 10 aim, and plus 10 crit for successive shots at the same enemy unit. Locked on can be good. The only problem with locked on is... Locked on assumes, like, okay, it doesn't assume that you're gonna miss. But it's not as useful if you're already hitting the target. Like, with good positioning... Locked on isn't super useful. It becomes useful in some very specific instances, like when you're fighting the enemy ruler or the chosen. You know, stuff that has a lot of health, that has really big health bars and you just have to burn them down. Um, but yeah, locked on is not great, to be honest. And Fool of a Took rolling in the chat on a Saturday saying hello, boss. Well, hello, Fool of a Took. Good to see you. Glad to have you on a Saturday. Hopefully the weekend is treating you well. Um, honestly, chat, I think the flush shot. I think we go with the flush shot. What do you think? I, I, I mean, smoke grenades are okay, but I don't think it's worth wasting an ability point. Like, we might purchase that later down the road. 
um, with some AP, but for right now, between Locked On and Marauder, I, or I'm sorry, uh, Flush, I think Flush is the better pick, personally. Or am I still chopping so bad that you guys can't even hear what I'm saying? Flush him. Friend aid says flush him. Well, I mean, I don't I don't think I've seen Vio in the chat yet. I'd ask them. But I don't think I don't think I've seen Vio yet, so. I think we'll go with the flush chat. Again, those all three of those abilities are not great, but I think flush is gonna be useful in more situations. We'll, we'll get more use out of flush than we will out of the other two. I do tend to prefer passive abilities, though. All right, uh, let's have a look at Elijah. You know, Elijah here with the white suit and the white vest and the white pants and the shotgun. Got that big main character energy, just like Sierra said. Let's see what they've got up next. Ah, uh, so we got Trial by Fire. Permanently gain one aim and one will at the start of each mission. So basically, Vio is going to gain stats every time they go out on a mission. That's really good if you're going to use the character over and over and over and over again. Um, not to say that I won't take it. It's actually a really good passive, but we'll see. We'll see what else they got. We got the Coup de Grace, or the Coup de Grace. Bonus to hit, damage, and critical chance after a melee weapon against a disoriented stun or panic enemy. Uh, we're not really using a melee weapon, so I don't think that's going to be super useful. Um, and then, of course, we got the bigger they are. Grants 15 bonus aim against targets that cannot take cover. Uh, that's Executioner, so that comes from the shotgun. But it applies to all weapons. So, like, it's not, it's not just a shotgun thing. Needs a white gun, too? I mean, I could do that. I can make that happen. But yeah, I'm with Sierra. I think the black gun is a nice contrast. Um, I think the bigger they are is good, but trial by fire is good as well. What do you think, Chet? Do we take uh, extra aim against targets that can't take cover? Or do we take just permanent stat buffs every mission? Again, Elijah, if you're out there, now's the time to chime in. Chat says trial. All right, trial by fire it is then. Yeah, trial by fire is non-conditional. If you send him on a mission, he gets that bonus every time. And that's a permanent stat buff. Like, it's... So, for those of you that maybe don't understand, like, this is, he gets an additional one aim and one will every single time we deploy him. Just plain, no strings attached. So yeah, it's, it's a very good skill. Alright, there we go. And then, we got Friend Aid with the promotion as well. Let's, let's see what kind of toys he's gonna get in his toolbox. Uh, let's see, we got Suppressing Fire, uh, Fire a Standard Shot. If the shot does not kill a target, it suppresses them instead. Uh, suppression is kind of weird in XCOM 2, but it's it's not bad. It means that even if we don't hit the target, Friend Aid is still going to be debuffing the enemy. Like, just shooting at them, we will be debuffing them. Um, then he also gets Smoker, which, meh. And then we got independent tracking, independent tracking, which requires har our halt. God damn it, chat! I can't fucking talk all of a sudden. It requires us to use the hollow targeter, which we are not currently using on friend aid. So I think we go with suppressing fire. I mean, really, of the three, suppressing fire is just hands down better in almost every way. All right, there we go. That's the promotions out of the way, chat. And uh, nobody ready to bond yet. Not just yet. All right, let's hit the map. Can I request a green body condom and a flat top? Uh, I think we could make that happen, friend. The only problem with the flat top is there's not really a, 
Like, if you're thinking like a military flat top, there isn't really a hairstyle like that in the game. Uh, we got another supply. I mean, we really need supplies. Avenger plotting. I, I think course. we abandon the rookies, we go after the supplies. Because we really need more supplies. We're down to four. We are not we, we, we got four commander. resistance we shekels. We need more money. Oh, the I XCOM flat top. I got you. Whoops. I think we can make that happen. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Uh, you are in here somewhere. There we go. And you said you so when you say green body condom, like my first instinct is lime green. The Reapers have no interest in leading the world into a new age. Not under my watch. Uh anyway. Sierra, I mean the aliens you already know the answer. From humanity and we aim to take it back. It's that simple. What people choose to do with their you lives already know the answer. Point is up to if them. they're bonded, they're bunking together. That's like that's not even a suggestion, that's a requirement. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. All y'all motherfuckers had an entire week on the Discord to throw out your ideas for character customization. No, no, no. You wait until I start the goddamn stream before you start doing that. Nah. All right. I'm going to do this for friend aid. The rest of y'all put it in the Discord. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on custom on soldier customization during the stream. That's why I told you, go to the Discord, put it in the Discord. Well, I already told Friend Date I would do it, so we're gonna do that for him. Alright, so you want... You want the XCOM flat top. There you go. There it is, the guile hair in all its glory. Now, thankfully, I did get some cosmetics here, and we're gonna go with a tent one... Actually, you know what? I think tent two is better. Let's 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 go with a tent two. God, that hair is terrible, and I love it. I love it. No, so troubleshooter look. It's it's not that you're in trouble. It's that like. I knew people were going to want to have a say in what their characters look like. That's why I did the whole thing and had Earth set the thing up on the Discord so that you guys could do that in between streams and I'd have time to do it. But it's just like now everybody's like, hey, I want this, I want that. Like, God damn it. The whole point was to try to avoid having to do that stuff on the stream. Alright, let's see. We got the tent two. I'm gonna go tent two on these. Don't worry, we can change the color. We can change the color. I can not in trouble. I'm not mad. I'm just like That's why I got on y'all on the Discord. I was like e like it's you asking for stuff is not a problem. That's why I made the offer. Alright, so There you go. Green. Which, by the way, I, I don't know if you mentioned friend aid. I know I said something, but I didn't actually check in the chat. Did you want lime green or did you mean, you know, something a little closer to like OD green or something? Because... Personally, I prefer the Jelly Green Giant, but that's just me. Look, Kermit, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you to not ask questions like that. In case you don't know, uh, the 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 minigun in XCOM 2 is kind of stupid because you have the pistol grip down here. But then you also have the vertical grip up here. He holds it like a rifle until he uses it, and then he grabs it by this and the chainsaw grip. Don't ask. 
miniguns and XCOM 2 are stupid. Ecto Cooler represent. Alright, well, you know what? Friend A, you have neither confirmed nor denied, so you are you are getting Ecto Cooler green. You had your chance. You had your chance and you chose to hold your peace. So you get Ecto Cooler Green. Alright, there we go. I tell you what. I tell you what. How about we give him a proper machine gun? Instead of that goofy minigun bullshit. Alright, there we go. There we go. Now, let's get back to the Geoscape, because we gotta go get some supply. We gotta get some supply. Priority message and here's through. our supply drop, Putting which we're then also now. gonna have to go get. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Oh, don't worry, Kermie. I, I, I am a firm believer that the only stupid question is the one you never ask, because if you're asking a question, it means that you are engaged with the content, it means that you are paying attention to the game, it means that you are interested in what you're seeing. So, to me, questions are a good thing. Uh, Wasteland Wander, unfortunately, uh, the... Chosen are a tough oh my. to infiltrate, but we've managed to gather intel on their latest actions. And have a rough idea... So there is a mod is called the Resistance Firearms mod. And it essentially adds a bunch of realistic gun models into the game. The only problem is, according to... Uh, it's XCOM 2, EW. Uh, but according to the mod author, it can potentially cause issues if you add it mid-playthrough. They don't say exactly what kind of issues it can cause. So I don't know if it would potentially be like a, you know, breaking the game kind of thing. But I don't really want to chance it. So, uh, maybe if we do another playthrough later down the line, I'll put in resistance firearms. But for right now, it's just, it's just what's in the game. What are you hoping to see out of this campaign? I'm hoping that we win and don't die. Like, based on the previous campaign that I scuffed, like, I'll settle for just beating the game and not dying. Alright, so, we got Retribution, Brutal Crackdown on the Resistance, permanently lowering XCOM's income. That's their planned activity. Through the Resistance Ring, we might be able to stop that from happening, but if this goes into effect, it becomes permanent, and there's not a whole lot we can do about it, so... This is basically as the Chosen become unlocked in the campaign, they're all going to have their own little agendas that they try to do to screw with us over the course of the campaign. Um, right now, because we're only dealing with one Chosen, it's a little easier to deal with, but like this could be really bad. Like just permanently lowering our income could be really bad. Commander, so we definitely we want to do something about that if we can. Are working on developments that Vince has got to get going for tonight's game. Contract. All right, then. We well, have fun with the magic and the all the other we'll stuff. Good to see you, we'll as always. Thanks for dropping by on a Saturday, and hopefully the games go well. Uh, let's see, we've also got some dark events coming up. These are just general events. These aren't specifically being, uh, being fronted by the Chosen, but these are also things that we can do. Uh, we can do resistance operations to potentially stop these. Uh, we can also do resistance ring operations to, to get rid of that as well. So there, there's stuff that we can do. But basically, let's see, we got Bending Reed. Advent Stun Lancers have a chance to move after performing an attack. Uh, stun Lancers are a pain in the ass on a good day. I don't want them getting a move after they attack. Um, and then we got Rural Checkpoints. Advent stifles the movement of resistance resources, decreasing the supplies of the next drop by 50%. This isn't terrible like if i had to let one go i'd probably be okay with this one because it only reduces a single supply drop and then after that it goes away so like yeah one supply drop basically gets 
cut in half, but after that, we're, we're out of the woods. This one, though, I don't, I don't want that if we can avoid it. Commander, the factions have pledged their support to XCOM, and they're ready to carry out your orders. As our influence with these groups increases, our capabilities will grow in kind. Might Thanks, more Central. Or some additional work if you've got any orders for us, Commander. Oh, how about that? Between the eyes, here's our resistance order. Any XCOM shot that hits the Lost is an instant headshot kill. So in any mission where we have to go against the Lost, that makes it a whole lot easier to deal with them. Um, just depends on what other orders we have available. Let's see, we've got recruiting centers. New recruits only cost 15 supplies. Also pretty good. Um, and then we got wildcard orders. So as we get wildcard orders, like... Re Reaper orders we can only put in the Reaper category. Uh, the wild card we can basically use anything. Um, I mean, we only got two orders, so I think I think we just go with it. Oh shit, we don't have that unlocked yet. All right. Um, we're not in desperate need of recruits right now, so I think we go between the eyes. Of the two that we have, I think it's the better of the two. Commander, we'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the resistance factions to complete these covert actions. They'll All right, and this is why days, we're going to want some recruits because again, with the resistance not only are we going to be running the standard rip, not only are we going to be running the standard missions, we also need to do these, the covert operations. Six, so mostly quiet, but hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Sorry to hear that, Rex. Uh, sorry that you're sick, especially again this time of year, but it is starting to get into the fall, so I expect people to be getting uh, more more sick as time goes on. But sorry you're not feeling well. Hopefully you're having a good weekend otherwise, and uh, hopefully being here in the stream, just hanging out a little bit, we can give you something else to think about besides being sick. You've invalidated the lost. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Pretty much. And don't worry, we'll replace that order with something else, but... Uh, for right now, it, it, that's all we got. So, um, let me see. We can try to rescue the skirmisher. We can hunt this the chosen. Uh, basically, hunt them down and try to figure we'll out where they are. One of our vets to lead the effort. Obviously, we don't we don't have a sergeant yet. We'll get there eventually. So we could rescue Mox. We could just in well, we can't even do that because we don't have a sergeant. Or we well, we can't do that either because again, we don't have a sergeant. So we really need to get a sergeant chat is, is pretty much pretty much what the game is telling me we really need to get a sergeant uh so right now all we can do is rescue mox i guess let's rescue mox uh let's see what do we need anything in particular now doesn't look like it so we don't need any special stats we basically just send whoever we got um let's see oh by the way Megas, if you're out there in the chat still, I know you were here a minute ago. You got what you asked for. Anyway, uh, let's see. We got to send some folks out there. Uh, let me see. We got a lot of riflemen, so I think I'll send out Ben. And then, who else do we send? Got a paramedic, we got a salamander, so that gives us that. We got a couple of assaults, we got another marauder, a gunner. Um, I think since crew card just got back from a mission, we'll send him out. We'll send him out. All right, there we go. Hopefully we'll be able to get our mans back. It's gonna take six days. Let's go ahead and confirm. Begin we'll the act. The job done. Don't worry, Commander. Commander, the Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. All right. That means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that first. Avenger plotting. We'll we'll course. hit up the guaranteed supplies because it's only gonna take us three days. If any of those are gonna die, they gotta go out with glory. I mean, as the, anytime people die, I always hope they go out with glory. I mean, I would prefer the people not die, but if they're gonna die, 
We're gonna go ham. This outcome, though it is intriguing. All right, the there we go. Sectoid autopsy is complete, so we can make mind shields out of their corpses, the and that does unlock uh, and the psychics. So we don't have the, the the resources that we need to unlock psionics at the moment, but it is available now. So as we collect more, um, that'll be something that we can get into. Uh, the faceless autopsy is actually strangely going to take a long time. The mimic beacon. So I know in the default game, the mimic beacon is, is pretty busted. So the mimic beacon is exactly what it sounds like. You throw it out and it mimics one of your soldiers and the enemy is distracted by it. Well, the problem is, in the vanilla game, not only is the enemy distracted by the mimic beacon, uh, the, the AI is forced to shoot at it. They don't get a choice. As long as there's a mimic beacon on the field and they can see it, they have to shoot at it. And that kind of breaks the AI. I have downloaded a mod that changes that so that if the enemy, like, normally the enemy will try, try to prioritize the best shot that they have or the shot that they think will do the most damage. So essentially, when you use the Mimic Beacon with the mod that I have, um, they prioritize the Mimic the same as they would any other soldier. Now, the Mimic Beacon is still going to be getting shot most of the time because if you're throwing it out in the open, then the AI sees that and they say, oh, hey, here's a dude standing in the open, and they're going to try to take the shot. But it's not as busted because the computer is not going to go out of its way to shoot at the Mimic Beacon when another shot would make more sense. I can't remember. Is the Mimic Beacon one turn? That's a good question, Rex. I don't actually remember myself. Um... We can do the Stun Lancer. Stun Lancer is going to be more upgrades to the melee weapons, but again, we're not really using melee weapons at the moment. Uh, still 19 days on magnetic weapons. We could just go directly into resistance comms. That's another five days. Um, or we could work on the, the, the data cache. Start working on that intel. Nine days for some intel, though. It's a little bit rough. Method of Madness. Uh, first time chatter says, in vanilla, it's one turn. Well, there you go. There you go. Method appears to be speaking from experience, so... I mean, it's a Twitch chat, so take it with a grain of salt. But they, they appear to know better than I do. Um... Yeah, I don't know. For me, it's a toss-up between the Stun Lancer and Resistance Communications. Resistance Communications is going to progress the story. Stun Lancer is going to give us some... Some upgrades that we don't really need, if I'm being honest. Like... We're not using any melee weapons. Like, I'll definitely do the upgrades at some point, but at the moment, this isn't a hugely useful upgrade. Sierra has acquired a calzone. That actually sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Why, why you gotta be talking about... Like, y'all know I don't eat during the stream. Why you gotta be talking about food, chat? Huh? Anyway. Uh, just to give ourselves a little more time, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Stun the Lancer. The Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city center. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, Recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Uh, does the resistance also unlock more slots for the modifiers? Um, that I don't know. The thing is, at the moment, we don't have the ability to build resistance communications because I haven't done the research. So, I mean, I don't know if it unlocks more slots for other stuff. You're talking about, like, uh, the Resistance Ring? Um, it might, but I think it has more to do with the faction than it does with the Resistance Communications. I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong on that. Again, it, it's only been, like, four years since the last time I played this game, so it's... I, I, I can't tell you for certain. You should eat on stream. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I will not 
mukbang you because I know that's not a thing that everybody enjoys. Advent has made steady progress in convincing All right. uh, let me see. civilian populace to migrate to their city centers. We could the potentially build a mine shield. We just need one sectoid corpse, but I don't want to use the little the supplies that we world. have um, to build a mine shield just yet because we're not we're not having a huge issue with psionic powers just yet. Idea what they are truly and I see you, friend aid. Hydration and gunning. I All right. could have saved a lot of time repairing the ship's systems if we had any idea. Let's get back. Commander, try and get these, uh, try and get these supplies. Contact with the local resistance God. network as Damn it. soon as possible. The aliens are undoubtedly moving forward with their Okay, plans. what do we got here? Uh, we got this. Got the Guerrilla Tactics School. I don't think we get any adjacency bonuses from the Proving Ground, do we? Uh, unique tax ammo, grenade, so armor for our soldiers, specialized tactical items. Yeah, I think the proving ground is gonna be the next big thing. We're gonna need it to build, like, prototype stuff. I'd like to build an infirmary as well, but at the moment, we're not- We're not seeing people get injured all that much, so I don't think we need it at the moment. Let's go ahead and we'll just- we'll, we'll start building. We don't have any capacity to spare. Which Thank, you, we can expand our facilities further. Thank you, Shen. Thank you, Shen. Alright, there we go. We'll get the proving ground going. And then uh, once again, let's let's continue to gather up these supplies. I swear. Like every every ten seconds on the geoscape, it's like, hey, here's a thing. Hey, here's a thing. Hey, here's a thing. Like, you can never just accomplish something on the Geoscape. Alright, here's our resistance ring. A very useful building in War of the Chosen. Commander, the factions you have contacted are well equipped to track down the So this is just chosen. a way for us to Their view this outside of the monthly interface. In helping XCOP locate and eliminate these threats. We, and we could upgrade. Have an operation underway, Commander. Not yet. We don't have the power, we don't have the supplies. But we could upgrade this in the future. Alright, back to the Geoscape once again. And there we go. We got all of our supplies. Now, let's continue with this one and see if we can get more supplies. We got the dark events coming up. Again, not a whole lot to be done about those at the moment. Uh, we do need to make contact with New Arctic so that we can go after the Black Site, but we've also got to do resistance communications before we can do that. Avengers but I think the supplies are more important. We always need more supplies. Always need more resistance shekels. All right, here we go. Here's a mission coming in. What you got for me, Optimus? Hello, Commander. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth locate the source of this avatar project and then destroy it 
were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. Tracking the alien's progress on this Avatar project here. Yeah, so for those of they you that don't know, this is... It sounds like it'll this be is our ticking clock mechanism. This is the big bad evil project. This is the world end scenario that we have to stop. Uh, the Avatar project, which at this point in the campaign we only know exists and we don't really know anything about it, is, is essentially the thing that you have to f stop in order to beat the game. Um, so again, for this campaign, I have doubled the length of time to complete the Avatar project just to give us more time to actually do what we need to do. Um, but it is, the, the clock is still going to be ticking and they are still going to be getting progress. So, yeah. Four element of combat, logistics, violence, aggression, and action, and tempo. That's, um, see here, I don't, I don't know if you have like, Maybe you're missing fingers. Um, try counting again. Tell me what number you come up with. Just, like not trying to throw shade. I, I don't know if you ever graduated first grade math class, but um, try it again, buddy. I'm, I'm sure you'll get it right on the second go around. Anyway, so the Avatar Project is our, our ticking clock. And of course, the game is like, oh yeah, by the way, fuck you, they get three pips anyway. Alright. Let's see, let's see. I don't know why I backed out of there, because we're going for supplies. We can have them working on construction, Shin. excavation, or staffing Fuck the Fuck's sake, god, Shen, you, you're so fucking needy. Unstaffed engineer, okay, fine. We, we need a scientist staffed? Alright, there you go. Have a scientist staffed, how about that? Scientist is staffed. You want an engineer staff? I'll tell you what, let's go down here. Alien machinery? Hey, you know what, we only got one available engineer? Let's go for it. 30 days, how about them apples? Actually, you know what? I don't even like that. We're not gonna do that. Tell you what, we're gonna empty that one out. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna clear out this alien debris instead. How about that? Are you happy now, Shin? Fuck's sake. Good God. Anyway. Consider the following. Look. Look. I'm counting all three of those tempos as separate line items, okay? I have to hand it to them. I understand it's there for emphasis. Lack in experience they make up for in grit. But I'm counting those tempos separately. Yeah, I get that, Urs. I understand they're not meant to be taken separately. I don't give a fuck. I'm taking them separately. Because, just because you didn't put commas between them does not mean that they are not words in a series. I, I'm aware, Urs. God damn you fucking nerds. I'm trying to do a bit here, and you are ruining it. What the hell is wrong with you? Why, why are you the way you are, Chad? Yes, I know you're the- God damn it, Sierra! I, of all the fucking- of all the people! Of all the people to say, we are the ruiners of bits! Of course it had to be you that said it! Of course it had to be you! Why? Why, Chet? Why are you the way you are? I- Look, I didn't make you shit, Black Hydra. I did not make- You were like this before you got here. 
I may have made the mistake of encouraging your behavior, but you are already like that. Don't you try to put that shit on me. Don't you try to put that bad juju on me. You blame your parents for that shit. Don't blame me. Don't you be blaming me for that. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Hey, you do. Yeah, we we actually so we unlocked a mission to rescue a guy. So let's let's do the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's rescue Max, Chad. Commander, we've confirmed the position. Chad and squad. All soldiers on this mission gain a single charge of conceal ability. That's actually pretty good. Commander. That's actually pretty good. This war, we need to take every chance we get to fight. But that I got into since last time. Yeah. And swift draw with 1500 more bees. Those bucks says the boys are calling me back to the satisfactory. Here's some bits you can get, boss. Well, thank you for the 1500 Bezos bucks. And and I'm I not gonna lie, Chet. I, I've been very, very, very tempted to get Satisfactory. I love Factory games, and, and I've played the shit out of Factorio. And Satisfactory just looks like that, but more. And I really wanna play Satisfactory. But at the same time, I've seen that there's, like, I know that there's been some issues with DirectX 12, um, especially on, uh, like, the 40 series graphics cards. And, and I know that the developers are aware of it and are working on it. Um, so, I, like, I kind of want to wait for it to get patched, but, uh, but yeah, I definitely... I definitely want to play some Satisfactory. I really do. It looks so good. For those of you that don't know, Satisfactory just hit 1.0 um, and is now available on both Epic and Steam. And so, like, I'm very tempted. Very, very tempted. So, but but that's just me. But anyway, Swift Draw, thanks for hanging in. Thanks for hanging out. And hopefully the Factory vibes go well. As always, the Factory must grow. So uh, hopefully you have a good time, and uh, hopefully your power grid will reach the, the 19th century, if it hasn't already. Uh, yes, Method of Madness. Actually, that I think that was uh, this week, or perhaps it was last week. I don't remember exactly when, but just within the last week or two, Satisfactory finally hit 1.0. Um, so yeah, ever since... Like, I don't... I, I've said this before, I don't, I don't like to play a lot of early access games because you kind of get into this this rotating schedule of only playing through the new material and like it gets a little boring after a while I prefer to let the games cook and then play them when they come out of early access um and so yeah with with satisfactory finally hitting 1.0 I have been very very tempted to take the plunge um but then like I have said before, I also don't have a whole lot of time to play games over the course of the week, and most of my game time is spent on stream. So, um, I, I may save Satisfactory for after XCOM. Like, we'll, we'll see if we can finish up XCOM 2, and then maybe I'll get into Satisfactory after that. But I don't know. It's, it's definitely on my, on my radar, though. Definitely on my radar. Uh, anyway, let's go rescue Mox, chat. Let's go rescue Mox. I don't know if he's gonna be any good. Commander, it looks like conditions on the ground are ripe for a quiet operation. If we can get our people All right. into place, they should each have concealed positions to work with. Um, I think we need to get some other people experience. Like we got some Lance Corporals. I think we need to take out some more squaddies, potentially rookies. So let's see, who have we not taken out? Um, yes, now we haven't taken on a mission, so let's get yes now in there. Uh, let's see. We could take Yotin Bane. Take that flamethrower medic. Take that flamethrower medic. And then, let's see, we want somebody with some heavy firepower as well. Um, so either a gunner or I mean we got we got tribal typhoon. Tribal typhoon's a gunner. Uh Vio, you missed our first mission and a lot of faffing around in between. 
Oh yeah, don't worry, Method of Madness. I, I love my paint jobs. I love my goofy paint jobs. Um, I think we take, I think we take Travel Typhoon. I'm taking some heavy firepower. Um. Yeah, I think we're good with this. We're good with this. Let's make it hatch yet. Let's make it hot. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. And Iron Hander 2K6 coming back into the chat again for a second month care of Sierra. Welcome back, Iron Hander. Good to see you. And again, Iron Hander. PS1 game. Outstanding shooter. We might play it on stream someday. And XJ Phoenix as well says, Gotta roll. Thanks for the stream. Looking forward to seeing it on YouTube. All right, well, have a good one, XJ Phoenix. Thanks for stopping by, and hopefully you have an outstanding rest of your weekend. Yeah. Fate begin mission. There we go. Aw, oh, shit, here we... And Vioplayer with 10 gifted subs as they get into the chat. Thank you, Vioplayer, for the massive generosity and the massive chicken. And, of course, yeah. for the 10 gifted subs. And if you got a Thanks gifted sub from Vioplayer, be sure to thank him for that generosity. Before Thanosi gifting five subs as like well. Thank you, Thanosi, as well for the generosity. And, of course, for all the folks out there that were not already members, welcome to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions. Sierra says, link permissions. Yeah, yeah, you are needy. You are needy. But thankfully, we're at a loading screen, so I think I... Oh, wait, not shout out, you dumbass. Well, there you go, Sierra. You got a shout out anyway. You've been playing no game at Twitch. Try that again, this time without the suck. Once more with feeling. There you go. You got your link permissions. What? What did you do now? What did you do now? Sierra, look. Out as quietly as possible. If the I know I said this last us, stream. This I'll say it again. Don't make me harder. fucking ban you. Cause I'll do it. Oh, I don't like this at all. I do not like this at all. Cause that looks like a fucking egg sack, chat. I don't like egg sex in games with aliens, alright? Alright, so we start in concealment. This is our man's up here, so we want to go in that direction, but we're probably also going to be running directly into enemies. And I didn't think to bring the battle scanner this time around, which is unfortunate. That would have been extremely useful on this mission. But, in case you guys didn't know, it turns out I'm somewhat of a tactical dunce. So I think we'll move up carefully. Because I have no idea what we're going to be getting ourselves into here. Oh dear. And again, ideally, we don't want to be in combat if we can avoid it. Got it. We have Firebrand on standby for evac, Commander, but as soon as she gets in range, the whole compound will go on high alert. We should hold back unless we have the target or it's an absolute emergency. Yes, I, I'm aware fucking central. I'm not gonna call for the fucking extraction until I actually have the target. Maybe, just maybe, you let me quarterback this thing? If that's not too much trouble? I don't know, I'm hesitant, because I, I don't know what's up here. And we could potentially get up here to try to get to some cover, but my fear is that if there's enemies like patrolling along this route, then us going up over over the breach here is is gonna get us seen and that's why i'm i'm kind of kicking myself in the ass for not taking the battle scanner because that literally would have solved this problem for me i 
Sierra. I know, I know you think you know what you're saying, but you're only, you're only making it more tempting. All right, Chit. Fucking YOLO, let's do it. Confirmed. Let's see what happens. Stay clear of those turrets. We're still okay, not it's a turret. Sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Uh, the turret is actually a fucking disaster for this mission because the turret isn't gonna move. Like, this dude might move out of the way and then we could try to sneak into the facility. The turret is not gonna move. But we can try to move around it. We can try to move around it. Got it covered. Alright, we got another turret. Good lord. Fucking turret central up in this piece. Why the will loss? Uh, Sierra, that's a thing that happens by default. Um, it's just the game doesn't signpost it. I have a mod enabled that shows you anytime a stat goes up or down. So, um, it, it's, it's not that... So the reason that you're losing will is every time you see a new enemy, your soldiers lose will. Anytime somebody dies, your soldiers lose will. Whenever they miss a shot, they lose will. Like... That's how you get to, like, these very low thresholds that then make it possible for your people to panic. Um, again, it's, it's not so much that that's new, it's just that I have it better signposted by the game so that we're not, uh... Like, I like to be aware of the will loss. That's why you also see, like, the expanded UI here, where it'll say, like, their will is at 72%, or, like, Tribal Typhoon's will is at 90%. So it's basically giving me a percentage of their entire will stat. Like, I think, I think, uh, Yoten Main had, like, 50-something will, and they're down to 72% of that. Oh yeah, the game is definitely stacked against you, but y you guys know, I, I like tough games. Um, so here's our issue. I want to try to get around the back side of the facility, try to avoid the turrets and the patrols, the only issue is, there's nowhere for us to hide in here that doesn't get us seen. Um, how much- okay, so we got plenty of map on this side. I think we take the high ground instead. Wait, what? Why do you get seen up here? Is there an enemy up here? Chad, I think there's an enemy up on this plateau. Shit. Alright, I think we check it out. Oh, he takes a different path. Got it. Got it. Well, I still think we take the high ground. At least for now. Moving to position. It's it's gonna be a little bit of a circuitous route, but I think that's I think that's the best thing to do in this situation. Um, let's see, we'll get, uh, we'll get Tribal Typhoon up here. Copy that. And then if I can, let's see if we can get Jotunbane over here without being seen. Alright, let's do it, let's do it. I have no idea why his sight range is so small, but I'm not gonna question it. Try to get you to play the Dark Souls series. I mean, I've already played through... So I played through the first three Dark Souls games. I also played through Bloodborne. Uh, I have not played Sekiro. I also haven't played Elden Ring. Um, I've wanted to play those games, but at the same time... I mean, I'm getting older. My reflexes aren't quite as good as they used to be, so... I, like, I enjoy watching people play those games. I just... I haven't had as much desire myself to play them. 
Uh, let's see, we can't get to the tree, but we can get to the rocks, so we'll just double time it. We're we're gonna go we're gonna go sneaky snake, chat. We're going sneaky snake. On the move. A cough with that getting older shit. I mean it's true though. Like I'm not I'm not just making that shit up. Getting older is a thing that happens. No, Neo. No, again, I, I... I like a challenge. I just don't like... the... 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 putting parts of your own anatomy in a vice kind of challenge. Heading there now. Alright, let's see. What do we got? We got anything? Looks clean. Alright, outstanding. Let's go ahead and move down to the tower. Again, I know this isn't... this isn't terribly exciting. But, uh, this- this is the best way to avoid our people getting killed. Good to go. Path of least resistance and all that. Jewturn gave me a night- oh, god damn it. You know, the only thing worse than you having an idea, Sierra, is when somebody else gives you an idea. All right, hopefully, hopefully, things will be a little easier on the back side here. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a short move just to get a peek around the corner. Make sure we don't have a patrol on our hands. It doesn't look like we do. The real question is gonna be how do we actually get into the facility? Cause the front door is right here. We can't go through the windows, so. Oh no, what did you do? What the fuck did you do now? I- alright, I'll allow it. Only because I appreciate you making me Godzilla. Because... Of the two, I- I prefer to be the giant... Radioactive dinosaur over the giant monkey. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Chet, I don't know if there's gonna be a back way into the facility, so we, uh, we might just have to breach and clear. But if we do, we're gonna do it on my terms. Understood. Moving out. Alright, let's see. Uh, I think we roll up to about here. Got it. Because we want our flamethrower guy to be as close as possible to maximize the use of that flamethrower. And then... Tribal Typhoon. Wait, is this a door here? No, that's not a door. Shit. Chad, is there only one way in and out of this place? I mean... Tactically, that makes a lot of sense. I just... Like, it makes me sad that the only way in is guarded by turrets. Heard a 25-year-old talk about how he couldn't play Fallout 3 because his dad wouldn't buy it for him. God damn, are we... Like, is that... Is that where we are as a society? Is that where we are as a society now? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put friend aid up here in the tower. I'm sorry, Tribal Typhoon. My mistake. I'ma put Typhoon up here in the tower. I don't know why you took that route to get there, but whatever. And we're gonna breach and clear, chat. She prefers the lizard, but is in fact the show monkey. I am the show monkey, but... That doesn't mean I like being the show monkey. So we got the blast canister, which is basically just delete terrain. All right, Chet. Here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm I'm gonna run this tactic by you. You guys, let me know what you think. All right. 
So we've got our people in position. I'm thinking we put Typhoon on Overwatch, just to cover. Then we have Jotun throw out the beacon, like either right here or right here, to call in the Sky Ranger. Then we have Jotun Bane use the blast canister, just basically blow out this entire back wall. And then we go grab Mox, and then hopefully the very next turn we can do the extract. What do you think? What do we think? Either that, or we could try to find another way to sneak in. Is a blast canister guaranteed wall elimination? I don't know that either method. Ah, uh, we've never used the blast canister, or I have never used it, so I don't know. But it's showing the wall in red, which... In the parlance of the game's interface, usually means that the attack is going to destroy that terrain. No, 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 if I do that, uh, due turn, I'm gonna be aiming, like, over here. Like, I wanna take out the wall, but I don't wanna hit him. Um, let's see. Where is... Alright, here's what I'm gonna do, chat. I'm gonna save, just in case this doesn't work the way I expect it to. Just in case this doesn't work the way I expect it to. So I'm gonna click on the Sky Ranger thing. Okay, it does let me determine where we go with the Sky Ranger. So basically what I'm thinking is we drop the Sky Ranger like right here. I'm thinking we drop the Sky Ranger like right here, then immediately blast through the walls, grab our mans, and within one or two turns we're out of here. See if you can hit the turret and the wall. Alright, let's see. If we use the blast canister... Yeah, the blast canister, unfortunately, does not have the range to hit the turret. So what I'm thinking is we do something like this, where it's gonna take out the wall behind him, and it might take out the wall to the side. So we do something like that. It's basically just... If it works the way I think it's gonna work, it's gonna shred all that terrain. Uh, friend aid, I'm pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, the turrets cannot attack the Sky Ranger. The Sky Ranger is just the mechanic. It it does not actually take any damage. So let's see. Activate to expel a stream of explosive compounds in a cone. Useful when targets are resistant to chem throwers damage type. Alright, Chet. Let's try it. I'm gonna put our mans in Overwatch. Scanning. We're gonna throw out the Sky Ranger beacon. Bring in the evac! Firebrand is in position in the There we go, we're revealed. That's alert. okay. Time to move. That's okay, we knew that was gonna happen. Then we immediately hit the blast canister. Threat and flamethrower. Chad, I don't think it broke the wall. Shit. I don't think it broke the wall, Chet. Okay, we have committed a tactical error. Okay, so, and this is... You can get out the pitchforks if you want, but this is exactly why I saved. Because even though the game showed me that it was going to destroy the terrain, what it didn't indicate was that this is actually a double wall. So there's like a cosmetic wall on the outside that does get destroyed, but then there's this other indestructible wall behind it that you can't blow up. At least not with the equipment that we currently have. Um, that is what I suspected to be the case, and that's why I saved, because I'm gonna reload. 
because if it didn't work the way it showed me it was going to work, I don't want us to be screwed. So, again, you can pull out the pitchforks if you want, but that's specifically why I did that. Now, I already checked it, friend aid. Like, I, I went I went into the grenade interface and it wasn't even showing the wall in red. So I don't think it would have destroyed it. And and I'm okay with that. Like, I understand. It's, it's supposed to be a prison. And I know one of the things that they patched was people basically just doing what I'm doing. Sneaking around the back and then blowing up the wall and getting the guy out in one turn. Um, they have since patched a lot of that to avoid it. Um, and I'm okay with that. Like, it, it's not... It's not that I'm angry that that's the case. It's just that I didn't understand how the mechanic was going to work. I didn't understand if it was going to work the way it appeared to be telling me that it was going to work. And I wanted to make sure before I did it. No, I will not be saved scumming all the time. But I am going to do it when the game does stuff like that. Um, alright, so, if we're gonna have to get in a fight, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to avoid it, then we want to stack the fight in our favor. We're gonna have to go in through the door, which is fine. So if we move our mans up here, Moving to designated coordinates. get Jotunbane up as close as we can get to the turret, can we? Alright, so we can catch the turret with that, hopefully it will shred some armor. Um, next up, we're gonna put Tribal Typhoon on Overwatch so that as soon as we come out of concealment, he's gonna lay waste. And then, let's see. What do we want to do with Yas now? I'll tell you what, I think we hang back on Yas now. So we'll take the first shot. We'll take the first shot with Jotunbane, do some damage to the turret, and then I'm going to move Yasnell up here once we break concealment to, uh, to get that full cover bonus. So let's do it. Let's activate the blast canister. Might make a stupid meme about it because I have a mighty need to make fun. I mean, I can't stop you, Sierra. We've already talked about that. This might burn a little. Okay, had a little bit of a glitch there, but it did work. Alright, so let's get- oh, yes, now can't even get up there in a single turn. That's okay, though, that's okay. Move it up. Move it up. And let's take the shot at the turret. 95%. If we get the full 5 damage on this, we might get the kill. Out. Fucking standing. You love to see it. Alright. So turret. Turret is gonna be angry. We're picking up increased calm chatter in the compound. Turret is gonna be angry. Something is up. We haven't lost the advantage yet, though. Try to avoid engaging their forces if possible. So tribal typhoon, you don't actually have a shot at this fucking turret for some stupid reason. Um, so let me see. If I get you down here, you still don't have a shot. So we're gonna have to get Tribal Typhoon closer than I'd like. Um, they still don't have a shot there. They don't have a sh What the fuck? Where is this turret? Like, look at this. Nowhere. Like, you can You have to be, like, all the way over here before- before they can even see the turret. That's- It's a little bit weird. Um... Let me see. I think if we move up here, okay, outstanding. Oh, I didn't realize you had an Overwatch. Good to know. But now that terrain is gone, we might have made an error. Whoops. All right, slight change of plans. Slight change of plans. All right, now let's let's get Tribal Typhoon down go. here. And then next turn we'll be able to take our shot. The light pole blocks line of sight. Yeah, for some stupid reason. Don't, don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Alright, we still got no shot on the turret from moving 
Uh, I mean, there's a part of me that wants to just say, fuck it, go ham. I mean, we gotta unlock this cell, but we can at least get inside. The only problem is, that puts Yas now in a very precarious position because I don't think the turret will have a shot, but we know that there's at least two Advent soldiers out here, and there may be more inside. Um... Do I... Okay, it's not gonna tell me whether or not I have access to the door. So let's do this. Go, go, go. We'll get inside, get some decent cover. Okay, there's our advent trooper. One of them, anyway. Going ham on the last guy is liable to activate another pod. This is true. To your presence. They're actively hunting for you now. I, I am aware, Central. Perhaps let me quarterback this thing, my dude. Alright, I think if we're here, we don't have any shot at the turret, which I hope means that the turret doesn't have a shot on us. Do you have your overwatch? You, oh, you do. Shit. Alright, so we kind of gotta take this thing out, unfortunately. I got a 92% chance, and as long as we don't do the minimum amount of damage, as long as we do more than 5 damage, we get the kill on this turret. Tribal Typhoon? Make it happen. Beautiful, beautiful. Enemy Love to down. see it. Love to see it. All right. Now, next order of business is we move our mans. We move Jotunbane up here with that, that beautiful, beautiful flamethrower. And we give this man the business. Killing it with fire. Killing it with fire. I love the line. All right. Next order of business. Let's get in here. We're gonna do a little hacky poo on the door. Uh, let's see. No fail effect on either of these. So we either unlock the door without triggering security protocols. Whoops. Or we recover a mission lead on an alien facility. I think we take the alien facility hack just in case. Just in case we get it. I mean, again, for those of you that have played XCOM 2 before, you already know. If, you're, if your chance to succeed is less than 100%, it's basically zero. But let's, let's see if we get lucky. There's no bad thing that happens for failure, so let's just, let's see. Holy shit, look at that chat. We got the, we got the lead. Sierra. Why, why, why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Go ahead and post your link. Let me, let me see what goofy shit you did now. I mean, get, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I feel like that every time I look at that model. Multiple inbound transports. Okay, so we're at security level 10. Um, the aliens are a little angry. I probably should have not let them automatically put the thing there because they put it in a place that I am not fucking Going. happy with. Got some advent here. I am absolutely not happy with that positioning. Okay, let's carry our unit, let's get our mans. And then what's the fastest way out of here? I still think it's back out the way we came. On my way. Let us, let us double time and GTFO. Again, not happy with the way that the game decided to put down that evac. 
Sierra, look, don't add insult to injury. All right. You already are making fun of me. Don't go fucking making puns about it, too. Okay, that's that's a little bit of a wrinkle. That, that's definitely a little bit of a wrinkle. Oh my god. Target disabled. Jesus, tell me how you really feel, dude. Watch the moving to flank me. Apparently, Yoden had something to say about that shit. And the cavalry's here. I'm sorry, that wasn't Yoden, that was Tribal Typhoon. Yeah, apparently, apparently Tribal Typhoon had something to say about that. He, he did not like that priest showing up. Okay, we can almost make it to the extract this turn. Uh, but I think, first and foremost, we gotta see... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that mobility. Look at it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yep, I deserve that. I wasn't paying attention. I deserve that. All right. We get our mans out. Let's see. Okay, neither of these guys can make it this turn. So we'll go ahead and we'll make our best moves that we can. And then we'll extract next turn. The fear that I have is about that damn drone. Because it's got a lot of mobility. And if it runs up and stuns one of our people... Then we have a really big fucking problem because we don't have med kits. And here come the reinforcements. We're cutting it close. We're cutting it close, Chad. Sierra, you don't have to justify making fun of me. I, I've told y'all before, and, and I'll say it again for those that, that don't know or that, that weren't raised the way I was raised. A day without shit talk is like a day without sunshine. I give y'all a hard time, and I expect you to do the same. Feel free. Make fun of me. Make fun of my face. My voice. The dumbass decisions that I make. I expect it. Alright, there we go. We are out, Chet. We are out. And aside from that one goofball-ass mistake that I made, because I didn't realize the dude was Everything was overwatching numbers. otherwise we could have made it out flawless it wasn't pretty it wasn't pretty but it was a successful mission i just now realized it's operation spasmodic law which again the names i don't know what the hell mod i downloaded but these names are fucking great all right let's have a look at the debrief uh, we got Yes now with a Kill Stealer Award. Got a lot of Kill Stealers. 100% uh, shot accuracy. Only took one shot, though. Uh, let's see. Jotunbane. Jotunbane was the MVP. Getting out with the with our mans. Getting Mox out of there. Also 100% shot accuracy. You love to see that shit. So took the most shots with the height advantage. Moved the furthest in concealment. Ran the most overwatches, ended their turn with sight on the most enemies, destroyed the most stuff, got the most assists. Yeah, I think Jotunbane definitely got the MVP on that one. And then let's see, Tribal Typhoon, 100% accuracy, even on the overwatch, but uh, no awards. No awards. Honestly, so look. I know that the game determines the MVP award statistically. I'm giving the MVP to Tribal Typhoon on this one. Because that priest, that priest could have been a huge complication. Could have been a huge complication to this mission. But he was just like, nah fam, I got this. And he's just like, Overwatch, blam, seven damage, instant kill, 
The man's had been on the ground for all of 10 seconds, and he was already full of holes. So, uh, I, I think, I think my personal MVP on this one is Tribal Typhoon. But either way, good performance all around. Good performance all around. Again, I urge all yeah, he hated that priest. Calm. He was not having it. Did manage to release a handful of he, he was not having it. He saw jet. that priest and he knew it was go time. It wasn't easy, but Mox has been safely returned, Commander. He's eager to get back into the fight. All right, outstanding. We got some wounds. Again, that's my fault. That's my fault. I, am glad to I did to the dumb. Service, I will not forget what you and your soldiers have done for me. But we got Wharf and we got a facility lead, which was completely unintentional, but I'll take no it. Casualties. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. Commander. Oh, Combat well. Against the aliens day in and day out is no easy Mox task. got demonophobia. Chance to panic when encountering a chosen. We'll need to keep That's, an eye on each soldier to manage their I traits. mean, like, of all the things that you could have gotten, that's probably the worst. That's probably the worst. For most of our soldiers, the also, in case you didn't hear, uh, folks making noises in here. 